This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Annie. They've had about six weeks off now with the bad weather and now they're coming back together. So what we're doing is we're focusing on the half halt as taught by Robert Dover where we're adding the breath. At the same time we're keeping Annie more connected. Now we're going to work on our stretchy walk with the half halt. All right, now as you start your stretchy walk, can you do a half halt to get her to pick up her back and stay connected to the rein from your leg? Because the real stretch, they should be stepping up from be feel her pick you up. She should be up like that as she stretches down. And we're gonna do the stretch where you soften her jaw three times on the inside and then give her an inch on the outside to get her to stretch down by following your hand. I'm videotaping as I'm coaching. That's the movements you see. Good. Now you'll notice you can feel when she disconnects, right? So Trudy's been riding a couple years. She's got a, a pretty good sense of feel. She's feeling when Annie drops her on the back, which she shouldn't be doing on the stretch. Good. Now your goal is at first she might only be able to stretch a little bit and keep connected all the way through. The connection is really coming from her hind foot to the rein. When she disconnects like right there, it's her back end. So you do a half halt, send her up into your longer rein. You might have to shorten the rein if she can't step into that contact at first. So you're going to notice you're going to be changing the length of the rein a lot at first. Again, there's nothing she can do wrong. So before, as a green, more of a green horse, Annie's idea of a stretch was just the reins would go long and she would drop her head. But now we want her to stay more connected. Very nice. You feel her swinging? Yeah, it just took her a few minutes to um, agree with me. Yes. Well, she hasn't done this for a while, and it takes a lot of focus. Like you feel when she starts disconnecting right there? That's when you've got to do a half haul, get her to step up from your leg into the stretchy rein. Again, you're going to give three, three softenings on the inside rein and then get her to take a long... So she shifts against your outside rein and leg and starts to stretch. Like you'll see sometimes she doesn't stay on your outside leg and rein, right? Okay, so your outside rein and leg you would use when the shoulder's coming back, which will be now, now, Yep. Good. There. Feel her picking you up different? Now at first she's only going to be able to give you a two or three inch stretch. It's going to take time for her to develop it and it's not going to happen in today. Take your time. Keep her connected. And you're going to start serpentines with the feel of a stretchy walk. Yep. Slow down the front end so she picks you up more. Get her to step up into it from behind. Praise her. That's right, Short, you need a shorter outside rein. So her nose needs to be almost vertical, her, the front of her face. If her front of her face is not vertical with the pole of highest point, your outside rein is too long for this balance. And this is different for her, so praise her a lot. That's it. I like how you're using your inside leg and rein at the same time, or your outside, whichever you're using. Good. And this is what Arthur Cotis from the Spanish Riding School teaches is the rider should use their aids at the same time for example the inside rein and leg as the inside hind is leaving the ground outside rein and leg as the outside hind leg is leaving the ground good that's it keep her connected think where do you have to get her more connected by softening her it could be the outside it could be the inside rein and leg and it'll change every two steps as you notice that's where she should be. It's the beginning of her getting more lateral balance. Good. Well, if you're holding her that long, you might be holding her too long. So be, hold your rein so she feels it and then get soft. Yeah. So never longer than three seconds. So you want to think if she's holding the rein longer than three seconds, it's really you. So if she holds the rein, you've got to get her to step up quicker from your legs so she lightens the pressure. When she's holding that long, you've got to get her to step up, pick up her back, and then as a result, she'll get softer on the pressure because you won't be thinking about holding her in the front. You'll be thinking about getting her to soften by stepping up. Good, and it's going to be hard for her, as you've noticed. Good. And think of a half halt every time before you do it. Good, good. I know, so much to think about, right? Getting a Charlie horse? <laughs> She's using her legs different. Yep, let's just stop and get that cramp out of your leg. I'm good now. Okay. 
So just stop for a minute and tell me what you're feeling with this exercise. And you really have to think about every step of the way, especially when you're serpentining and changing directions. But it's good because um, I'm, I'm thinking and I'm shifting from one side of the aids to the other. That's right. Uh -huh. And so. you're getting a good response. Pretty good. I know she's still... Well, you know, she will. Last in. year at this time, she couldn't do any of this. Yeah. So that's just... a pretty significant change. Okay, let her have a little walk break, and we'll come back and play with that feeling at the trot.